Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the next episode of Vanilla Minecraft here on the Hope Springs server. I am Joby B3 from Joby B3 Games, and uh, I started digging something out here. I mean, um, uh, it's the hardest part about recording episodes is you don't know when you should start. Well, I'm starting now. So, as you can see, I started something. I started something and I have no clue what it's going to be. It's going to be either like a sheep farm or a tree farm or something to help me get along in this world of Minecraft. But, it's in my base. It's right across from the <clears throat> from the slime pit. There's going to be another door. It's going to match this one. Right, chow? And, I'm going to come down the stairs here. Go around the corner. Down the stairs again. Around the corner. I have to make stairways in my uh, in my base because uh, I'm getting I'm getting cramped. There's not a lot of room left. So, um, but down here should be all wide open. The river's up there someplace, about 10, 15 blocks above our heads. Um, Hermit Thrills is that way. Slime farms like probably about. 10 blocks that way so actually this would be a great room to AFK slime slime balls in um, but I like the way this this start starting out uh, I'm going to uh, ooh, little x-ray over there but it goes all the way outside it doesn't like show you anything that is strange must be night outside okay so um, I'm going to try and make the stairway a little grander. I think I'm going to carve this out a little bit more instead of being too wide here. Make it one wide. And maybe bring it back. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that works out. I don't even know whether I'm going to go this way. Or if I'm going to go this way. Or if I'm going to go both ways. I really can't. I probably can go left here quite a ways. But then I can't go right quite a ways. I'll end up digging into the slime farm. I guess I could always dig until I hit the slime farm and then put a window in there so it's like observable. That'd be kind of neat. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go with it. But uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do with the space when I get it. But it's five tall, so it's pretty much good for anything. Um, all right. Well, I will get back with you once I have done a little more and maybe I know where I'll be going with this. So, uh, we'll see in a couple seconds. Alright, everyone. Well, I got a little bit done. Let's go see what I did. Alright. You can see, uh, slime farm. Which, I've been working down there, so I wonder if, uh, these slimes have been going... Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yeah! That is a great place to AFK meet some slimes, boy. Wow. All right. So, let's go across the hall. And I like starting with a blank slate. So what I do is I clean up all the walls and put in regular stone. I always do this. Um, and then I end up putting in stone brick. But um, once you pass this door, it's a different build. So I don't know what I'm going to do in here, but it's not just going to be stone nor stone brick so uh, we'll see so I come down here some stone brick stairs and <clears throat> I like how the floor the ceiling here goes progressively out that's pretty nice um, but alright so we got a stair feature here you know it's like right in the middle of the room uh, or it's gonna be right in the middle of the room Pretty nice. It's got a little bit of storage back here, some up here, some down here, some in the middle. Um, just a little cut out here, kind of like just a little, little depth. Nothing, nothing big. Um, I'm thinking of changing out these blocks for darker wood, but we'll see. But I dug a nice big area back here, which um. I kind of think is suited for a sheep farm of some sort. I don't know what type. 
uh, may just end up making rows of sheep standing on grass that I can clip the, the wool away and and go by and pick it up or uh, it might be something red stony ish uh, and, and stuff like that I don't know we, we shall see um, and then what I figure up here is I'm gonna dig that way and I have to do this in layers because it'll start up here five high but then it's gonna go down to like 10 to 12 high down a series of stairs and then open up back there 10 to 12 high because I'm thinking what the heck I may as well put a tree farm in fact um, no, I kind of like this little area here. It's going to be, uh, maybe one. So maybe the stairs down will start here, right on the edge here. So it's kind of uniform right around here. It's like a little walkway or, or a landing, say, uh, to go back there. I wonder how many blocks I am. I may just dig through this wall till I come to the slime farm to see if I can make an observation deck of some sort. But that'll come later. Um, maybe kind of like uh, find some place in the middle here. <clears throat> Every time I go to go to uh, go to record, my voice can be fine all day long. But then I get this little pinchy, dilly, bobby. I'm not a pinchy, but like a dryness in my throat, and it's. It's like <clears throat> I'm clearing my throat the whole time I'm I'm talking, but um, I just love me digging some holes. I love digging me some holes. Look, I mean, it's so therapeutic for me. I could just like dig out the whole thing and call it a day. You know, not even have a real reason. Just uh, well, welcome to my hole. Here you go. Welcome to my hole. Welcome to it. Welcome. Welcome to my hole. But I think I'm going to have to put something in here. Like I said, the sheep farm. And then hopefully an automated type of tree farm back there. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like the stairway. It's it's uh it's neat. I like it. I mean, it's nothing super spectacular, but it's got potential. And I've never done anything like that with a a stairway that spills out like that. And then uh how this goes from, you know, just every other one like this. You turn a corner and it kind of like extends it out and the room bursts into end of view. I like it. I like it a lot. Going to have to figure out what I'm going to do up here in the ceiling. Might be some time for some stained clay. Um, ooh, and maybe some birch wood. Stained clay, birch wood, and I guess I could do the old, uh, the old, um, I did this and when we did um, Caden server where there was um, sugar cane and some lights and uh, and it was behind there and I'm thinking I might even go one further and put a water feature behind the sugar cane and kind of like have that broken up into like five five sections you know sugar cane five sections column Sugar cane five sections, column, sugar cane sections five, you know, you, you get the idea. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that. We shall see. Um, I know I've got enough sugar cane. Oh my goodness, I got so much sugar cane up there. Um, yeah, that's it. And uh, let me go and show you another thing that I did. I've actually been using this quite a bit because uh, using the F11 trick, you can AFK really, really easily. Um, 
I move the auto fisher back a little bit. And the reason I did that was so that above that... Oh, what the heck. Let's go in and see, shall we? One, two, three, four. Okay. Above this water is air. Air block. Goes straight up. You can see I actually had to I had to chop off the awning of my house up there because uh I was just one block. If I moved it one more block I wouldn't have to do that, but um that's okay. It it doesn't matter much. And then up there I have some bushes so that mobs and, and players can't fall down into the hole. Uh, maybe I'll clean that up too, but no, because you'll never see it. Um, I had to break this out to get in there. But uh, this is the auto fisher. So now that it's got an air block, during the uh, just regular hours, it is 20% more efficient than it was when it didn't have air over it. And when it's raining, it's even 20% more efficient. And I tried it out raining with a uh, Luck of the C3, Lore 3, Unbreaking 3, or something like that anyway. And uh, I was catching stuff left and right. Name tags, puffer fish. Um, I was catching lots of stuff. And uh, I might use that more and more because uh, there's one thing on the server that you can't craft. Oh, saddles too. Saddles and name tags. So I'm going to be a rich guy and what I'll do is I'll open up a name tag store or something for like, I don't know, a stack of diamonds per name tag. No. But, uh, you know, I, I can make some bank with some name tags. And I have about... I guess 10 of them right now, fishing out of that thing. So, um, well, that's my little progress update. And uh, I think I'm probably going to do this episode over a few days because um, I'm not in a hurry. Like I said, this is just a hobby. I'm not trying to make any money. I'm just, uh, I'm just doing this so that uh, I can share my work with you guys because... I got nothing better to do. Not really. But, um... Yeah. So let me get back to it, and uh, I'll bring you back when I have something done. Alright. Um, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial on this when I build this side. Um, start out. Dig one down. Five grooves, as long as you want it. Mine are 13 long. Um, this will be one edge. This will be the other edge. And this is the middle. These will be the, this one here. And this one here will be the areas you're walking on. So what you're going to do is you're going to go back and get some... Get some grass and some dirt, and because you want the dirt, the grass to spread, and you're gonna lay down that. Put one of those. Since I'm in no rush, I'm just going to put one in the middle to conserve because uh, I'm running out a little. Not running out. I've got so much I can go get more if I just don't want to. <clears throat> All right. Now, uh, let's see. It'll spread fast enough. And come on down here. And... Um... Alright, so now what you can do is you can lay down torches on this. I choose five. One, two, three, four, five. Right on. Um, you can lay down five. 
one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I can get rid of these anything on blocks here because it'll be plenty of light. Um, and this one here. Good. All right. So now we need to put down the standing platforms for the sheep. All right. So I'm not going to put any grass there because it'll spread up from the one on the bottom. That's a platform. That's a platform where they're going to stand. That's a platform. And that's a platform. Shoot myself and go ahead over there. See, that's already starting to spread. Already starting to spread. Good. All right. Now, um, now on top of the torches, you're going to want to put another set of grass block or uh, dirt blocks. Go get me some more. All right. So not here because this is where you're going to walk. All right. So there you go. Grass blocks there. You're going to be walking there, so you put anything there. <clears throat> and dirt blocks here so that it starts to spread. Now, what you're going to want is glass. So I'm going to move this glass down here. I hope this is enough. 13, 13, 13. It may or may not. Oh, there we go. All right, now you're going to want to put glass on top of these blocks. Just like so. And here. And then, um, basically, get yourself your wood. Let me here. Yeah, get the wood. Put it here. And that's basically it. That's one level. Now you just repeat it for the next level. Right? So there'd be grass on top of there. There would be grass here. Grass there. Um, just like over here. Oh, no, no, no. That's right. It's... It's up, down, up, down, up, kind of like a V. And you just repeat that up there, the next level, and uh, and you've got your your sheep farm. Cap off the ends, figure out how you're going to get in and out, like I did over here. Right back here. I added this little access for the top ones. All right, so I can trim, 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 trim. And uh, I added it over here for when when it's time to do that. You can dig through there. I've got to dig through because uh, it's um. You notice how this comes out over top of this? There'll be dirt here, right? Because this is the next stepping pad. But I've got to dig out a little bit more so I can fit that top one in. Um, and then this one is second one over. So, all 
This one goes here. Just like so. And uh, once I have the top ones in, I'll have another set of things and I'll have my sheep farm. I look a little dirty back here because I can't do anything about this. But uh, hey, I'll put a door right here and you won't be able to see it most of the time. These puppies will just be in here doing their little thing, eating their grass and growing my wool. And uh, <clears throat> I'll have wool in every color that I can just go back and forth and trim and get out and harvest it every once in a while. I'll have, I'll have plenty of wool. Um, take that one off the end, although later I actually add another layer just to just to put a facing on it so it doesn't look completely horrible. And uh, and I call that a sheep farm. I may even go down. Oh, you know what? I can't anymore here. I was gonna say I can put glass, but these things will pop out. Mmm. I shouldn't have populated them. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was supposed to put glowstone in there. I was going to put glowstone in there to light it up in there, and I wouldn't have to use torches, but hey, maybe I'll just leave the torches. I finished up the room of the sheep uh, the sheep condos, and uh, I wanted to take you down and take a look at it. So right here, I have the walls pushed back like you've seen before. And uh, kind of fashioned it after the, the work I did in a witch farm, just because it's the, you know, always the sewer down here. So uh, I put the walls in here, put a little carpet around in here to hide some light. And then the uh, sheep apartments are right here still. Down here I did a little bit of work just cleaning up some of the stone and stuff going back to the stairs up to the second level. And uh, and then, like I said I was going to do, if you come down here... Ah, there you go. Come on, guys, come get some. Ah, psych. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I really like it. Look at them down there, they're going. They're going to die. But, uh, I really like the room. I like it, I like it. So uh, if you like it too, remember to hit that like button, and if you really like it, hit that subscribe, uh, and let me know what you think down there in the comments. Uh, I really like it. I hope you do too. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.